Besides review, study, yeah, review and study. Because it's what's really needed for those that if you don't know anything, you're just gonna fail. <laughs> Unless you're good at luck. It's just pure luck. Because I just guessed the entire math part because I'm just so. I'm gonna put the usted, my usted. Um, coverage and time and subject and time and what you'll need to bring and what you what they look for hi so um this is the usted subjects and duration which what the usted consists of so the first test it's it's the mental ability test which was 80 items for an hour or 60 minutes it was super easy for me and it's just mostly logic and guess what's next next is english which is mostly grade 11 subjects and mostly oral communication it was 80 items for 45 minutes and you need to read fast or else you're you're going to be running out of time next is math it was hard but i did not solve because like i said i just guessed the entire math exam because it's computation and i hate math i'm not good at math and i'm not stem but if you are a stem you might ace this if you are good enough it's 60 items for 45 minutes and then next is science which is 80 items for 45 minutes and it's easier compared to math except the physics and chemistry part and then the next is test 5 which is only exclusive for 
Faculty of Arts and Letters courses, which is my course, AB in Communications, Journalism, Broadcasting, and many more in the Faculty of Arts and Letters, which we did an essay for 45 minutes and which it was kind of hard because the topic was about family values, which I don't really have. But um, I made sure to write a good essay because I might fail math, but I hope I get a good shot on essay. So that's it. So this is the what things do they look for, it's just a typographical error, but um, going inside the campus and even while taking those that they will look for your test permit, make sure you print it, more than one copy just to make sure, and also print it clearly because they're going to scan the QR code and stamp and sign on your test permit. Next is a school ID or any valid ID because they're gonna look for it during those that, I don't know if that's important, but. They said to bring it or wear it, but I don't have an ID yet, so I just brought my birth certificate. And then ex lastly, in my notes, is the number two pencil, which you can bring any brand. Just make sure it's number two and already sharpened because you don't want to stress yourself out. And next is what to bring for yourself, which is obviously bring water because you're going to be super thirsty and it's going to take some time. So make sure to bring, the wa bring a water that you can put beside you. Next is jacket, which is not really unessential, but I think you should bring because the room is cold. And then the umbrella, which is also essential because it's hot. The campus is really big. And even if it's like it has many trees, it's still so hot. So make sure to bring your umbrella because it's super, super, super hot, especially in the, uh, in the noon. And yeah.